how to blame the technical component in the failure of the car in our market, and figured out the most successful modification of the Fiesta, which has no worthy competitors on the secondary market. The sixth generation Fiesta, MK6, debuted at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September 2007. However, according to the British classification, this is already the seventh generation of the model. This discrepancy is due to the fact that in this market, the restyled fourth generation cars were for some reason counted as a full-fledged update. Officially, this is the sixth generation Fiesta, although in some forums of car owners it appears as MK7. In Russia, the Fiesta MK6 failed, despite the fact that its predecessor was quite successful. As a result, the model even left our market for some time, but it was given a second coming. In 2015, production was localized at the plant in Neighboresny Chelny. It was already an updated car, world restyling took place in 2013. The manufacturer decided to add a sedan body, which is relevant for Russia, to the lineup and to abolish the impractical three-door hatchback, leaving only a five-door one. At the end of 2015, in addition, cars began to be equipped with the Duratec 1.6 gasoline engine of domestic production, a plant in Yelabuga. And everything seems to be fine, but the previously available successful classic machine was replaced by the fashionable power shift dry robot, which even then scared away many potential buyers. The Duratec 1.6 TVCT petrol engine is a well-known long liver with a good reputation, familiar from many Ford models. Motors of different power, 85, 105 and 120 horsepower, are almost identical in terms of hardware. In addition to the corresponding software calibration, they have slightly different attachments, such as an exhaust system. The engine does not cause complaints and does not suffer from serious mechanical sores, but it can periodically disturb with minor ailments. The motor is characterized by rather noisy operation, a loud clatter of fuel injectors and a roar of a piston group that appears after about 30,000 kilometers. This design flaw does not lead to increased wear. Another feature of the engine is that a cold start problem periodically pops up. The so-called double start occurs when certain factors coincide, temperature overboard, humidity, quality of gasoline. The motor confidently starts to work, but either after a few seconds, or after a long float of revolutions, it stalls. On the second start it works fine. This defect is inherent in the pre-reform Fiestas, and it is very difficult to defeat it. When the timing belt is scheduled to be replaced, every 120,000 kilometers, the cooling system pump must be carefully inspected. By this time, it often begins to leak, as a result, antifreeze can corrode the hinged belt. A common sore is leakage of the valve cover and the phase shifter control valve on the exhaust camshaft, pre-reform Fiesta. The main thing is to detect a faulty valve in time. It is located at the top of the valve cover, and pressurized oil flows out of it very quickly so it can reach the oil starvation of the engine with all the consequences. In this motor, on the pre-reform Fiestas, in addition, the rear crankshaft oil seal is leaking. When replacing it, it is imperative to remove the oil pan, otherwise the new cuff will soon flow along the lower edge. The starter and alternator also do not last long. At the starter, the solenoid relay wears out quickly, and at the generator, the voltage regulator relay often fails. Profile companies successfully repair both electrical units for reasonable money. Since October 2015, domestically produced Duratec 1.6 engines have been installed at Fiesta. So far, they have distinguished themselves with only one ridiculous problem. There was a batch of cars that lost contact in the connectors on the fuel injectors and there were signals about an open injector circuit. This leads to a difficult cold start and triple of the motor. For prevention, dealers install an additional clamp on the electric ramp for free. Duratec 1.25 and 1.4 gasoline engines belong to the same Sigma family as the older 1.6 unit. They were put only on the pre-reform Fiesta. When examining the engine compartment, it is very difficult to understand which motor is installed, the external differences of all three are minimal. The younger Duratec engines have the same design features as the 1.6 unit, except that they do not have phase shifters. Diesel Duratorque 1.6, 90 horsepower, the development of the PSA concern. A similar unit drives, for example, the first generation Peugeot 308. He did not deserve serious reproaches. French diesel engines have always been famous for their reliability in the absence of serious mechanical problems. But this successful motor was installed only on the pre-reform Fiesta, 
which were officially sold on our market for a very short time. When repairing the Duratorque engine, French parts can be used. Usually they are noticeably cheaper and are presented in a richer assortment, more items available separately. The motor is quite old, so the fuel equipment, high-pressure fuel pump and nozzles, although sensitive to fuel quality, steadily survives the milestone of 150,000 kilometers. The IB5 manual transmission, known from Focus, is generally reliable and does not cause serious complaints, but it has its own characteristics. One of them is noisy operation in many modes. Basically, a noticeable rumble in neutral when the clutch is released. It is difficult to defeat this phenomenon even by a complete overhaul of the unit. But if you hear a distinct rumble in fifth gear at a speed of 100 to 110 km h you will have to fork out. Moreover, only Fusion and the pre-reform Fiesta will force it to do so. Extraneous noise arises from the so-called critical combination of tolerances in the gears of the fifth gear. A technical bulletin has been issued on this occasion, which prescribes the replacement of the fifth gear on the output shaft. And if this does not solve the problem, then you will have to completely disassemble the box and change the input shaft. Fortunately, such a malfunction does not occur very often. A common sore of modern mechanical boxes on almost all Ford models is leakage of drive oil seals. In 2014, the manufacturer obliged the official service stations, when replacing cuffs, to carefully select them according to the catalog numbers under the VIN of the car. Depending on the model of the box and the period of its production, seals of the appropriate sizes are used. It cannot be said that the leaks eventually stopped, but the scale of the problem was noticeably reduced. The 4F2070 4-speed automatic is a joint development between Ford and Mazda. He is well known for the second-generation Focus and related Mazda 3. The box index is FN4AEL. This machine has a very good reputation, is famous for its high reliability and long service life. They put it only on the pre-reform Fiesta paired with a 1.4 gasoline engine. If the box is still depressed, the repair will cost an adequate amount. There are always contract and refurbished units on the market, they can be considered as alternative options. The power shift robot with the dry clutch is equipped only with restyled Fiestas of domestic assembly. Few of these cars have been sold, and they have not dashed off so much yet, so it is difficult to unequivocally judge the behavior of this faulty box. At least the dealers haven't seen it repaired at the Fiesta yet. Here, the fact that by 2015 this robot had undergone more than one modernization plays a role, and at the same focus it bore fruit, there were much fewer complaints. Although the box never got rid of the problematic status. Most of all they complain about the low clutch resource, as well as jerking and jerking when switching. After the gearbox upgrades, the clutch life has increased significantly, but the shifts have not become smoother. Gears, synchronizers and bearings are changed very rarely, but the clutch forks and the input shaft seal wear out quickly. At the same time, the leakage of the cuff significantly reduces the service life of the forks. Because of it, more dirt gets under their anthers, as a result, the forks begin to wedge. This leads to accelerated wear of the clutch discs. The support bearings of the front shock absorbers are poorly protected from dirt and moisture, which leads to a crunch when the steering wheel is turned. Many current Ford models suffer from this design flaw. Since 2014, upgraded nodes have gone, but this did not completely solve the problem. If caught in time, the bearings can be saved by disassembling, washing and lubricating them. But you have to remove the shock absorbers and dismantle their supports. The Fiesta has a conventional rack, which, in theory, should not cause trouble, because all the elements of the electric amplifier are built into the steering column. However, on pre-reform machines, it sometimes still needs repairs. Closer to 100,000 kilometers in the rail, the right support sleeve breaks and it begins to rattle distinctly on bumps. Fortunately, the unofficial successfully sorted out the node and changed this tired element. Turnkey works cost about 15,000 rubles. For the related Mazda 2, the manufacturer even issued a recommendation to change a similar rail during the warranty period for a new one. But for the Fiesta, this is not provided. Converters and oxygen sensors on restyled Fiestas are more sensitive to fuel quality than on pre-reform ones. The transition from the Euro 4 economy to Euro 5 has affected. Most often, substandard gasoline causes an error with the code that indicates the low efficiency of the converter. If you constantly refuel with cheap fuel, the eco-filter will not last long. You can also get to replace expensive oxygen sensors. 
If an error occurs due to their slow response, most likely the sensors can no longer be saved. The rear suspension with an elastic beam rarely requires attention. A simple and reliable design does not cause much trouble. Front stabilizer struts live a little. The original ones are rather weak, and the substitutes do not shine with durability. Most often, it is because of the wear of the struts that knocks and rumbles appear in the front suspension. On the Preiform Fiesta, the outboard bearing of the intermediate shaft of the right axle shaft requires attention. When it is severely worn, there is a rattle in the front of the car when driving in a straight line, which does not go away when cornering, or a hum similar to the sound of a worn wheel bearing. The bearing with its holder is available as separate spare parts. A technical bulletin on the fight against squeaking front brakes at pre-styling Fiestas has been released. If the creak appears in motion when the pedal is released, it is necessary to carry out a full preventive maintenance with disassembly, cleaning and lubrication of the brake mechanisms. Ball at the Fiesta are consumables. Original elements are only assembled with levers. The market offers a lot of substitutes, but it's better to fork out for a non-original lever assembly, The pressing ball joints is very laborious. Closer to 100,000 kilometers, the anthers of the drives crack. It is important not to miss the moment and update them in time so that you do not have to change the hinges separately or the complete drives. Sometimes at the restyled Fiestas of the domestic assembly, water leaks into the cabin. On early vehicles, the junction of the front left pillar and cross member may be poorly sealed. In this place, water inevitably accumulates under the frill. Interior trim elements noticeably wear out by 100,000 kilometers, like most Ford models. This is most noticeable in the worn plastic steering wheel and side bolsters of the driver's seat. A feature of the Fiestas from Neighboresny Chelny is the active fogging of the windshield due to the spontaneous shutdown of the air conditioning compressor after prolonged operation. This is due to icing of the evaporator, salon radiator. The protective mode is activated. The situation is corrected by recalibration of the brains of the engine that control the operation of the compressor, air conditioning performance. The sixth generation Fiesta in terms of consumer qualities loses miserably to its main competitors, and these are Hyundai Solaris, Kia Rio, and Volkswagen Polo sedan. Nevertheless, Fiesta in all modifications is sold quite well on the secondary market. The cars do not wait long for their new owners. Hatchbacks scatter faster, many are captivated by their more attractive design. In price, used cars lose to the same extent as their classmates. The relative liquidity of the Fiesta is explained by an interesting factor, which is true both for other failed cars and for original, specific models. The limited number of cars on the market is combined with the characteristics of the target audience. There will always be a buyer connoisseur. However, I still do not recommend buying a Fiesta. For this money, it is better to look for something else. The main disadvantage of restyled cars is the lack of a classic automatic machine, which is preferred by most buyers. The power shift robot has a bad reputation, and few people need a car with unpretentious mechanics in large cities. Therefore, a rather interesting position is the pre-reform Fiesta with an automatic and a 1.4 engine. Perhaps this is the only modification that is worth messing with. In its price niche, such a Fiesta, along with its sister Mazda 2, has practically no worthy competitors.